Hey guys, those of you who saw the Exploring the Attic video would have seen we found some interesting stuff. And I mentioned briefly a wooden thing that we needed to have a look at later. And it's because I hadn't quite worked out what it was. It was this. Now it's got a little flap door there. You can push, it, push the little door open if you want to. Little flap door. So the time I made the attic video, I hadn't quite worked out what this was. I had a couple of ideas, as you will, I'm sure. But I hadn't quite worked it out. Another little flap door there you can push open. Okay. A little... Hmm. What's that? There's a little one of those there. There's this handle. Right. So I'd actually, when I first saw it, I thought it might be some sort of birdhouse because the guy used to have chickens. So I thought it might be some sort of birdhouse that he kept his chickens, little baby chickens in or something. But once I saw this handle thing going on, I thought, no, no, that doesn't look like chickens. And that little door opens when you push the handle, that little door opens. And when you stop pushing, it closes. And when you pull in the other direction, the little door at the other end opens. So let's have a look inside. So we've got this set up in here. That thing at the end of the stick has been covered in some sort of animal hair. Not quite sure what it is. It's black, some sort of black animal hair. So I started to get a few ideas. I'm sure you guys are getting some ideas as well. I was thinking maybe it was some sort of water pump because this guy being into farming, maybe maybe he used it as a water pump or some description. Wasn't really sure. So I started to ask a few of the older local guys what it was and a couple of them came up with a couple of suggestions. Most of them seem to think it was for air, and if you look, it still pumps air really well. And then one of them turned up at my house today with a piece of paper from a book, a page from a book to show me, and it was this. Here's a guy making swords, Japanese swords, using an anvil, guys. And next to him there, look at that. Does that seem familiar? Exactly the same. Even the top of it's the same. Every piece of wood on that is exactly the same as this one. So obviously it's a bellows. He pumps it in and out and it pumps air into the back of the fire there and makes the fire hotter. So how cool is that? The old guy was telling me it's at least 100 years old, probably well over 100 years old, and uh, it's put together with handmade nails. So those nails you can see going down the sides there are handmade nails, old style. So even the old local guys are impressed by this thing. So how cool is that? Little museum piece in the back, the back uh, shed. <laughs> More videos coming soon.